Hi, welcome to Freezer Meals 101. I'm Sharla. And I'm Christy. And today, we're talking to you about barbecue season. Yay, Yay. it's barbecue season. It's time, it's time to get out there. Okay, full disclaimer, we live in Canada, we're in Alberta, so we don't always, lots of people do barbecue year round, but when it's, you know, minus 40, it's actually not safe to. Did no. you know this? That yeah. it, you can't use the propane at, at a certain temperature. So there's times that we don't, plus it's cold to go out on the deck. So we gear up for barbecue season when it gets yeah. warm. It's like a thing, it's exciting. It's pretty exciting. And so we're bringing you recipes for the barbecue that you can make ahead mm -hmm. and put them in your freezer and have them totally ready for when that perfect barbecue day comes around. It's true. And what's really nice about these recipes is they all have really fantastic marinades. Yes, well, not all. Okay. Um, because blue cheese hamburgers does not. Blue cheese hamburgers do not. <laughs> You're right. You know what? I was thinking the kebabs and the Jamaican jerk chicken specifically, but you are correct. The blue cheese hamburgers do not have a marinade. I mean, you that could would make a marinade, but that's weird. just gross and strange. Do and you ugly. marinate your hamburgers? No. <laughs> oh, that's funny. So the first recipe that we're going to do today is chili chicken skewers. <gasps> now, last summer, I took these and our vegetable skewers that are also make a headable. Is that a word? It is now. <laughs> um, and I took them camping with me and I cooked these over an open campfire. Yes, you did. Sharla, who does not outdoor as well. Is that a word? <laughs> Yes, and, true. <laughs> um, but you've you've come a long way since I I've have. met you. Yes. She camps now. She cooks over a fire sometimes. I go in my backyard. I hike. Yes, actually, you really like hiking, I and do. that's nice. I I still don't love eating outside. Like I would pick eating inside a hundred percent of the time. Even like a patio at a restaurant, I would rather mm -hmm. eat inside but my husband pr prefers the patio and I I always I mean again we live in Alberta so you can only patio like a certain yeah. months of the year you so take advantage of the season yeah so I'm I'm willing to do it but I would rather eat inside 100% of the time so so this is a big stretch for you to cook this over a campfire <laughs> I I am super impressed and you should be too yeah. um, so here's the recipe for this recipe, you're going to take some bamboo skewers and soak them in water for half an hour or so. And while those are soaking, you're going to mix together in a bowl some Thai sweet chili sauce, pineapple juice, honey, and a little bit of red pepper flakes if you want. I like them because it just adds a little bit of kick, but that's entirely up to you. Then you're going to take some of that, about a quarter cup of that sauce, and you're gonna put it into a medium-sized freezer bag, get the excess air out of that and seal it, and set that aside. Now you're going to take three boneless, skinless chicken breasts and cube them into one-inch pieces. And when your bamboo skewers are done soaking, you're going to thread those chicken cubes onto your skewers, and then you're going to brush the rest of the sauce that you have left over the chicken and place the skewers on a baking tray that's been lined with parchment paper. And then you're actually just gonna place the tray in the freezer to kind of flash freeze those so that they don't stick together. That's an important step for this. Anytime you're making skewers like this, you wanna do that step so that you're able to get them apart afterwards. Once those are fully frozen, you're gonna transfer them to a foil tray or a baking dish. You're gonna cover it with aluminum foil and freeze it and just place that small bag of sauce that you had on the top. On the day that you go to cook these, you can even cook them from frozen. If you wanna cook them from frozen, you're just gonna pour the rest of, brush the rest of that sauce onto the chicken and then grill them uh, covered over medium high heat. You're gonna turn them quite often for a total of about 15 minutes. 
or these can be cooked in the oven alternately at 400 degrees for 15 to 18 minutes. If they're already thawed, then you're just gonna reduce the time on the barbecue five to seven minutes each side, um, flipping as you go, or again, in the oven, your total time would be just 12 to 15 minutes if they're already thawed. These are great for taking camping. If you've also made the vegetable skewers, which are in the Freezer Meals 101 Club, then you can have both and you have your full meal with your chicken and your vegetables and it's all the goodness on the skewers. And it's extra good because it's outdoors. There is something about eating outside. I know it's not your favorite, but there's something kind of, um, you connect to nature. Yeah, there's something about connecting with nature, love cooking your food on a fire and sitting outside to eat it. Um, but yeah. I enjoy camping. Oh, we camp a lot and I enjoy camping. I have a trailer and right. I cook in my trailer. Um, but there, it does feel good to eat outside and it's just kind of different. It's a nice change for me. To me, when I hear connecting with nature, I hear bugs getting in your food. Well, that is connecting with nature. <laughs> That's Certainly. extra protein. Extra protein. <laughs> This next recipe is chili lime cod or any kind of white fish that you have on hand or whatever is on sale. So it can be tilapia, it can be bassa, it can be snapper, it can be whatever you feel like. If you have some walleye in your freezer, go ahead and do this. Mahi mahi? I don't know, is that a white fish? I don't know. I don't think it's a white fish. I'm just making stuff up. <laughs> But I think you could do it. I think walleye is a white fish. You could do you could do this with that, and you could do it with halibut. But I don't know if you halibut's pretty delicate. I don't know if you'd want to start it with your fish, put it in your freezer bag, and we're going to add our ingredients right on top of the fish. We have some lime juice, some olive oil, one to two garlic cloves that have been minced. We like to use the jarred kind of garlic that's pre-minced that we get it at Costco. We go through so much. It's just nicer to be able to scoop it rather than um, pressing all of our garlic. We're gonna add in some chili powder, a little bit of brown sugar, paprika, pepper, and some seasoning salt. We're gonna seal up our bag and mix those all around really well so that the fish is coated with all of that goodness. And you wanna remove that excess air and seal up your bag. Now you can cook this in the oven if you wanted to, just put it on a baking tray, 375 for hmm, 20, 25 minutes depending on your fish. Some are a little bit more tender or, or smaller fillets and you would want to reduce your time. But as long as it's flaking nicely with a fork, your fish should be cooked. But where this is really a star though is on the barbecue. You do have to do it in a foil packet because you don't, I don't know if you've ever tried to barbecue fish <laughs> <laughs> on the grill. It sticks and it falls through and it's, fish isn't known for really holding together well like a chicken breast. So right. you want to do it in a foil packet it is gonna steam in there and almost like a poached fish, but those spices really infuse in and it is delicious. Now, this is something you might want to serve with some rice or, you know, a nice baked potato. Nah, I don't think I'm gonna make a baked potato kind of meal. This is really good with like a fruit salsa, like a pineapple mm -hmm. salsa, mango salsa, that kind of thing. Yeah. It holds up well with Probably any kind of vegetable or salad or yeah, you know. some even like a nice side of broccoli. I know that you probably Charlotte's allergic to broccoli, and <laughs> so she wouldn't enjoy that. No. But I would have like some steamed broccoli with this for sure, or roasted broccoli, or a Mediterranean type of pasta salad, like a Greek mm. salad, or you know a pasta salad that has those same kind yeah, of Yeah, you're right, flavors. and then you like get your vegetables your plus your carb all yes. together. Yeah. Uh, that's good thinking, that would go nicely. That would work. Yeah, so we're getting all kinds of good tips here today. This next one is like a highly recommended freezer meal from us just in general. It is best on the barbecue. It really, really yeah. is. You get the char and it just makes you think that maybe you're on a beach by the ocean. Yeah, and Christy first, you know, tried, this is Jamaican jerk chicken, and Christy first yeah. tried Jamaican jerk chicken in Jamaica. Jamaica. And so I was, and I, I don't want to say it was the first time I had tried it, it's the first time I enjoyed it. 
Okay. So I think I had tried it and it wasn't super, it just didn't resonate with me as being a really great dish. But once I was there and I had the experience of eating it on the beach by some guy yeah. that was selling it on the beach and you know, like, oh, you it's good. hear the good. steel drums. A little <laughs> bit, a little bit of steel drums happening in the background. Not really, but it was, it did change the idea for me. It's like, it's like liking a band and then you go to a concert and you hear them live and they're so much better. Yeah. Right? And so uh, after that, when we started to make the Jamaican jerk chicken, we had to adapt it a little bit um, to our liking, but it is really... We have a ton of chicken marinade type recipes and lots of them are amazing on the barbecue, but we chose this one because this is the very best. It really on the is. It just, it makes it shine. Yes. Yeah. So this is our Jamaican jerk chicken with barbecue instructions. So into your large freezer bag, you're going to add chicken thighs. This is one with almost all of our chicken recipes. We say that you can do chicken breasts or chicken thighs, mm -hmm. but this one, we just go right ahead and say chicken thighs because it's much better. It is. It's um, chicken thighs are a little bit more moist, so they just are nicer to have on the barbecue. And, and the flavor infuses more in the thighs. Now, if you were eating this on a beach in Jamaica, you don't care, right? No, <laughs> it will be a quarter chicken. Okay. It will be the drumstick attached to the thigh and it'll have the skin on it. So in your freezer bag, you're, you've got your juicy chicken thighs in there and we're gonna add some chopped green onion, lime juice, olive oil, soy sauce, honey that's been melted, and your Jamaican jerk seasoning. Now we buy our Jamaican jerk seasoning in bulk at Bulk Barn and we find it's actually really good. We've also used um, a combination of that and this stuff that we've gotten in a jar um, that someone that Christy ran into camping one time who was from Jamaica. That's what she in. used. Yes. So we, we've kind of adapted this recipe, but this is sort of our standard version. It's our tried and true. We do like it. It's great. And you're going to get the air out of your bag, seal it, freeze it. On the day you go to cook this, you are of course going to cook this on the barbecue. Now in the recipe that we're going to leave in the description below this video, You'll find instructions for cooking this in the oven, in the slow cooker, which Christy says never cook it in the slow cooker. She, Why would you do that you know, to the chicken? Or in the skillet. Um, I do have back end access to the website. I might just remove that one day and, and nobody <laughs> would ever know that that could be an option. <laughs> it's funny because she's actually usually not like terribly opinionated about this. I don't things. have a lot. I trust Charlotte's judgment on like 99% of the food stuff, but if I have... Yep an opinion about something, I have to let her know. <laughs> she is easygoing about lo like most Lots things. Of things. Like, yes, but um, the slow cooker Jamaican jerk chicken is That's not no one go. of them. That's okay, a no-go. <laughs> so we're gonna do it in the barbecue, of course, but you can look up those other instructions just, you know, if you don't have a barbecue, because If you only have a slow really cooker, by all means, <laughs> don't make this meal. No, I'm joking, go ahead and do it. But it would not be the most tasty. <laughs> okay, so on the barbecue, you are going to preheat your barbecue to medium. You're going to take the chicken from the bag and discard your extra marinade. And you're going to spray your grill with oil. Maybe not spray it. I don't know how to barbecue. I, oh, you I spray, spray it. it. Okay. Sure. Um, spray your grill with oil and um, put the chicken directly on the rack. You know how we were saying for the um, chili the salmon, lime? Oh, yeah. for the fish. Fish, we were gonna do them in a foil packet. Right. Well, chicken is heartier, it stays together, yeah. and you can you put can it grill right it. on the grill, and then you get those nice grill marks. Yeah, you do, and you get the char, which is part of the Jamaican jerk flavor that you are not going to get in a slow cooker. <laughs> <laughs> she's, 
she's basically right, but basically <laughs> you can get that char also doing it in a skillet. I will say because in the winter, in the dead of winter, when yeah, we do I, this... I will totally do this in a skillet anytime if I can't do it on my barbecue. Yes, you could probably broil it to maybe yeah enhance the flavor in that direction if you needed to. Yeah, and like you're gonna flip this if it's on the barbecue every yeah. five minutes or so and just cook it until the chicken is cooked Cook through, through, done, and no longer pink, of course. There you go. And your internal temperature is 165. <laughs> I've, I've been doing a deep dive on internal temperatures lately. <laughs> it's and, true. And um, I learned a lot. <laughs> okay, barbecued salmon is obviously going to be great on the barbecue. Again, this is probably one you want to do in a, uh, a foil packet or on a slab of cedar that you can get to do in the barbecue. Mm -hmm. um, and it is fast and easy to put together. You start out with your salmon fillets. You're going to add in half a cup of your favorite barbecue sauce. It doesn't matter what kind a little bit of brown sugar, some green onion that's been sliced, and some salt and pepper. Bam, all into the bag. You're gonna mix it together, lay it flat to freeze after getting all the air out. If we haven't mentioned it this video, air is where some of your freezer burn comes from. So you wanna make sure that you get rid of as much air as possible so that you can reduce the amount of freezer burn that could happen. And then when it comes time to Cook it, you wanna let it thaw, and it will marinate a bit, right? That barbecue sauce will get right in there. You wanna heat your barbecue to medium, and now, depending on if the skin is on or how confident you are, you can put this right on the grill. Um, if the skin is on, it'll hold together better. But if you're finding that it isn't going well or you're not confident to try that, throw it in the foil packet, or if you like to do the cedar plank, go ahead and do that. But you can also do in the oven too, if it's the dead of winter or or you're just not feeling the barbecue that day. You can do um, about 400 for 20 minutes-ish and it'll flake nicely. And after my bragging about my internal temperatures, I don't really know what you're supposed to cook fish to off the top Until of my head. Until it flakes. Until it flakes. This last recipe is marinated blue cheese hamburgers. <laughs> I'm joking. It is not a marinade. Um, so, a while ago, last summer, last fall, last summer, we did a freezer meal video about different kinds of hamburgers. And we so did there's three kinds. Yeah, we did three kinds, and the blue cheese was one of them. Can we put that video up? Yes. Right about there. You can click on the link there and have a look at that. We did just kind of your regular run of the mill Christie's mm -hmm. hamburgers. Um, Charlotte doesn't eat beef, so it's like Christie's burgers. <laughs> Definitely like Christie's burgers. We did these blue cheeseburgers and we also chicken. did chicken. Chicken burgers, yeah. Did we do a taco one? No, it was a chicken taco. It was like it was a chicken it was like taco brown burger. Chicken You're and, right. Yeah, taco. That was, it turned out really well. So these are great to just kind of zhuzh up your barbecue <laughs> day. When we have, when we have barbecues, Usually it's over here at Costelix. It's easier for the four of us to come here than it is for the nine of them to come to our place. And there are always these in the mix and I try to find one for myself if I can. <laughs> so what you're going to do is you're going to mix together with your ground beef, four cloves of finely chopped garlic or minced garlic, olive oil, six ounces of blue cheese that's been crumbled, salt and pepper, some Worcestershire sauce, and some sweet onion that's been finely chopped. Throw in a bit of parsley, and then you're gonna shape your burgers into maybe quarter pound blobs, whatever mm -hmm. fits nicely in your hand. And then you're going to lay these flat to freeze on a cookie sheet so that when you put them in your bag later, you they won't stick together. Alternatively, sometimes I'll put wax paper or parchment paper in between them and then freeze them all together, and that seems to work pretty good too. On the day of cooking, you can cook them right from frozen. On in the day general, here where we live, yeah. burgers are well done. Burgers are well done. So we're gonna cook it all the way through, five to seven minutes per side, and you're just gonna serve it on buns with lettuce and all your regular toppings. Um, what else would go with blue cheese if you're gonna do toppings? Well, I would do more blue cheese. I'd do another <laughs> slice of blue cheese on the top, but that's just me. And my kids are not huge fans 
of the blue cheese. A few of them will eat it, but most of them not. Yeah. So they don't, they might do regular cheese mm -hmm. and then, you know, some avocado, lettuce, tomato, purple onion. Yeah. Very good. So that is our barbecue menu for you to get into your freezer so you can get your freezer stacked. We're gonna put a video right there to some camping freezer meals. Now it's gonna include those skewers that we talked about earlier, but it's gonna include a lot of other camping meals. There's actually another video that shows me cooking them in the wild. <laughs> <laughs> but so um, we're gonna do the camping video over there and that way you will be all set for summer barbecue camping Ooh, we have slow cooker ones too so then you don't heat your house oh you just yes. go check out all the videos so thank you for joining us today happy cooking see you next time